to Rocky Horror Show and I get the water pistols and the newspaper hats, but knives and forks, mm -mm, it's me. I got confused. Bear in mind, I've done a lot of these weird shows. The knives and forks was when I hosted a live screening of Tommy Wiseau's The Room. Which we did a double dunter with The Room and the Rocky Horror Show because it's two very classic, cliquey, weird. If you've never seen Tommy Wiseau's The Room, uh, watch it. Just because I think somebody really trying to make something is, is good. Even if it's bad, it's good that people try. But yes, Jim and Netherly, at Rocky Horror Show, people would scoosh me with water and then shine lights in my eyes during There's a Light over at the Frankenstein place. And then during Sound of Music, people would blow foam in my face from High on a Hill to the Lonely Goat Herd. And I don't even think that's part of Sing Along a Sound of Music. That was just something that happened to me quite a lot. And I hated it, but... There was always good costumes. You know what my favourite costume at Sing Along A Sound of Music was? What was that? Because lots of people coming as nuns, lots of people yeah. wearing curtains, lots of people like that. There was a lady who came in a fully silver cat suit with a giant hoop on her head and her friend came as a spill of thread. <laughs> she was a needle pulling thread. <laughs> it was so freaking good. I am so impressed with that. If you've ever gone to a Sing Along up, let me know what you dressed up as. Get in touch via text 80295. Paul, what would you dress up as? Have you ever been For to... For a Sing Along? Yeah, if you if you went to... What one would you go to, first of all? We've got Grease, Sound of Music, Dirty Dancing, um, Frozen. No? None of them tickle your fancy? No. I don't... Oh, you could be a good Captain Von Trapp. You think so? Do you know... It, 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 it. He didn't actually sing it. We had a guy turn up dressed as Mario and he went with a badge saying Christopher. So he was Christopher Plummer. God, Jesus. It's good. It's great. I love it. Right. Next up, we've got another one of our Hollywood swingers from 2022. At number six, six we have the star of Star Trek. <laughs> the late, great Michelle Nichols singing the theme from Star Trek.
Are we allowed to talk about what's happening in other channels? You don't mention it. I mean, we're always we're always a big fan of how we got into this conversation. Was firstly <laughs> during that song we said we love people who sing lyrics to theme songs. So, so hold on, that was Nichelle Nichols singing the Star Star Trek theme song, right? Um, just to end that so that we know what I've just played. But we love people who sing the theme tune. Like sing words to a theme tune, like Anita Dobson. Yes. Or like Sammy Davis Jr. singing the Hawaii Five O theme tune. And Kojak. Or like the woman who sang the Brookside theme tune and her name began with a D. It was Dana. D- D- that Dana. Was Dana, Dana. Uh huh. And she sang the Brookside theme that tune. And then the we one. found out that there was a channel who might be playing all Brookside again from the beginning and we should do a, a podcast. Se- a streaming, another streaming service, not BBC. But we should I mean, do a podcast where we talk about the close. Brookside, Paul. That's a, that's a lot of episodes of... Hold on, let me do a quick check. How many episodes of that show were there? <laughs> okay, I'm going to read out some text while we're getting on with this. Margaret Forbes Blainfield says, Hi Ashley and Paul, I've been looking forward to your show all week. The music is great, as usual, Margaret. I've been looking forward to your text all week. Thank you so much for getting in touch. 2,915 episodes. Well, you can't do that. 2,915 episodes. Oh, the close. You could, that's watch, a, that's... You could watch one every day and Paul, you would be there for years that's a podcast with legs <laughs> that's a podcast with legs like like jimmy corkhill moving fast and always running and it was cre- conceived by the creator of grange hill and holly hoax phil redmond come on now that's that's like tv making genius right there i love brookside who's your favorite brookside character uh, oh, that's a tough one because I did like Barry Grant when Barry, I but then I liked Barry when Grant. Gerald Gr- Kelly was in it. What? You're Ger- not aware of this? No. So like Lindsay no, Corkhill uh-huh. was going out with Barry Grant and then getting involved with gangsters, and then there was a whole storyline where Gerard Kelly played a bad gangster, a real bad guy. The late great Scottish actor. Yes. His, na- his mum and dad used to give my nan a tick in their shop because she was very poor. Well, that's really nice. Um, so I very much want to see that now. I loved Anna Friel. That was like mm-hmm. early, well, uh, that, that story early line LGBTQ. of the Jord- the Jordashes when they, oh, when the they killed Trevor Jordan. It changed the meaning of the word patio forever. It had such a big impact on life. As soon as I went to anybody's house and I was a child and I saw they had a patio, my first thought was, oh, I wonder who's buried under Can that. Can I also mention... What, you know how when you watch soaps and then you see someone who was in a soap mm-hmm. that you've not seen for a long time mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden they're in all these big things yes. like later in life and one of them is Trevor from EastEnders the the one who was who wee, hurt little wee mo. mo hurt little mo I love you wee mo eat it uh, him yes he was in the Batman the 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 one where they filmed it in Scotland. Yeah. Oh wow. And then he was in the latest Star Wars television show, Andor. I saw him at the Edinburgh Festival about ten years ago, Alex rocking Benz, rocking yeah. a bucket hat before they were popular. And I thought, there's a man who's living his best life, and I was a wee bit jealous of him. And now he's living an even better life. He's it, all over Hollywood. Sometimes I get nervous when I see a baddie from a soap mm. in public. Like I remember when I was very young, me and my mum managed to carry him to the BAFTA once. <laughs> I don't know how we got in. But I saw June from The Bill, and mm. then I saw the guy, Tucker from Grange Hill, um, Mark from EastEnders, who was the Sun Hill sniper, it hashtag was. spoiler alert. And I saw June, and because I was very young and I panicked, I was like, he's not your son, he's the Sun Hill sniper. Like, whispered it as I walked past her, like I was passing on serious information. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. Get in touch via text at 0295. Let us know if we should do a podcast about Brookside. Next up, as requested by many people, it's Sammy Davis Jr. doing a cover we absolutely love. He's singing Wichita Lineman. He's at entertainment every year at the King of the Swingers, and here he is with a great one. <laughs> 